Grade 4, Module 1, Lesson 1, Homework. Number 1. Label the place value charts. Fill in the blanks to make the following equations true. Draw disks in the place value chart to show how you got your answer, using arrows to show any regrouping. So here we have 10 times 4 ones. So we have 10 groups of 4 ones. First, let's label our place value chart. So the smallest one on here is going to be the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So we have 10 times 4 groups of 1. So we have 4 groups of 10 ones. So I'm going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there's one group. I'm going to do 3 more so that we have 4 groups of those. So we know that one group of this, one group of 10 ones is equal to 10. So if we have four of them, they're all going to equal four groups of 10 or 40. So 40 ones is equal to 40. B, 10 times two tens. So let's label again. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And this time we have 10 groups of two tens. So we have 10. So each of these little dots represents 10. So all of these together would be 100. 10 groups of 10 is 100. So we can add that over here to 100. So there's one group of 100. And here's another 10 groups of 10, which is another 100. So 10 times two tens, that's equal to what we have right here, the 20 tens. And 20 tens is equal to 200. And C, 5 hundreds times 10. Let's, oops, that's the ones place. Tens, hundreds, and thousands. So this time we have 5 hundreds times 10. So that's going to draw a lot of dots. So we have five groups of hundreds. One, two, three, four, So each of these each dot is one is a hundred, so ten groups of one hundred would be a thousand. So we can move that over here into a thousand, and we have five of them which would make five thousand and we had 50 hundreds. So 50 hundreds is equal to 5,000. Number two, complete the following statements using your knowledge of place value. 10 times as many as 100 is how many hundreds or how many thousands? So 10 times as many as 100, that would be 10 times one, 10 times as many as 100 is 10 hundreds, and ten hundreds, if we had ten hundreds in our place value chart, that would be one thousand. Ten times as many as blank hundreds is sixty hundreds. 
So 10 times what would get us the 60? That would be 6. So 10 times 6 hundreds is 60 hundreds. And 60 hundreds would be equal to 6 thousands because we need 10 one hundreds to get us a thousand. And if there's 60 of them, that's six times as many, so six thousands. And C, blank as eight hundreds is eight thousands. So going with kind of the pattern of what we were doing before, let's say 10 times as many. So 10 times as many as eight hundreds is eight thousands because we would have eight times 10 or 80 hundreds. And that would get us eight thousands. D, blank hundreds is the same as four thousands. And then it says use pictures, numbers, or words to explain how you got your answer for part D. So let's draw a place value chart with hundreds and thousands. We're going to have hundreds and thousands. And we know that we have four thousands. So I'm going to put four thousands in there. And we want to convert it into hundreds. So there's ten hundreds for every thousand. So we have four of them. So I'm going to get four groups of ten hundreds. So I have four groups of ten hundreds or forty hundreds. That would go up here. And we can explain it by saying we can create ten hundreds from each one thousand. So four thousands. equals 4 times 10 or 40 hundreds. Number three, Katrina has 60 gigabytes of storage on her tablet. Katrina's father has 10 times as much storage on his computer. How much storage does Katrina's father have? Use numbers or words to explain how you got your answer. So Katrina has 60 gigabytes of storage and her father has sent 10 times as much. So we can say 10 times as many as 60. And 60 would be equal to 6 tens. So 10 times as many as 6 tens is 60 tens. And let's see how many 60 tens is equal to. So if I draw 60 tens, I'm going to group them in tens. So each of these groups of 10, 10 tens, because 10 times 10 is equal to 100. So 10 groups of 10 is equal to 100. So we have how many of them? Five. So six, 60 tens is equal to six hundreds. So that's or, not six, three, six hundreds. So 
10 times 6 tens would equal to 60 tens or 6 hundreds. We can say Katrina's father has 600 gigabytes of storage. Number four, Katrina saved $200 to purchase her tablet. Her father spent 10 times as much money to buy his new computer. How much did her father's computer cost? Use numbers or words to explain how you got your answer. So Katrina is saving $200 for her tablet and her father's is 10 times as more. So we're looking for 10 times as much as 200 or 200s. Is so 200 times 10 would be 20 hundreds or let's figure out what that would be in thousands because we never really say I have 20 hundreds you would say you have something in thousands so if we have 20 hundreds There's 10, 20. So each group of 10 hundreds is equal to 1,000. We have two groups of 10, which gives us two thousands. So we can say that Katrina's father spent $2,000 on his computer. Number five, fill in the blanks to make the statements true. Four times as much as three. So four times as much as three. We could draw it. So three, and then four groups of those, that would give me 12. 10 times as much as nine, so 10 groups of nine, or 10 times nine is 90. 700 is 10 times as much as, so it's saying something times 10 is equal to 700. That would be 70. And 8,000 is how many times as much as 800? So it's one more zero, meaning we moved one more place value. So we're going to say 10 times as much as, there you wrote as. And the last one, Thomas's grandfather is 100 years old. Thomas's grandfather is 10 times as old as Thomas. How old is Thomas? So we don't know how old Thomas is, but we do know if we multiply his age by 10, we get how old his grandfather is, or 100. So what times 10 is 100? Well, that would be 10. So Thomas is 10 years old.